Hey everyone, it's Laura Serena and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do our pick a card for the month of October. This is going to be what we should focus on for the month and what special message that the cards have for us. So you can go ahead and focus on these three piles. This is pile one, two, and three. And when you have intuitively chosen which um, pile of cards you feel most drawn to, I will have the timestamps down below and you can just skip ahead um, to whichever one you chose. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now here with pile number one. And for pile one, we've got Imrama. We've got Creative Cocooning. Creative cocooning is a freedom I give myself. I create a safe nest for peace, healing, and calm. Imrama, where are you being called to journey to? We've got thank you universe for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. So I'm going to shift these a little out of the way so I can fit everything. Sorry, crystals, you got to skedaddle. Okay, let's shift these over here. Okay, we've got flying. And then we've got the star, peace and healing. Okay, so what I'm seeing first and foremost is a self-love and a self-care and a spiritual journey that is beginning or continuing for you. Um, the flying card is asking you to kind of detach yourself from the here and now and kind of soar above and see things from a different perspective. They're saying that now is the time to go ahead and take that step and take that journey and go where you're feeling called to. Go where you can gain the most peace and healing in your life at this time. And it's asking you to do that through creative cocooning. So it wants you to take that time to really find the place and the things in your life that make you feel safe the things that give you that peace and healing. If you can tell, peace and healing have come through on both of these cards. Peace and healing, peace and healing. So this is really about a journey that you are on towards peace and healing. So what within yourself is in need of peace? What within yourself is in need of this healing? Where can you kind of um, remove yourself from the situations that you're in, the situations that are hurting you at this time? How can you soar above those and see them from a different light, see them from a different perspective? Um, when we can do that, when we can kind of take ourselves out of that situation, um, you know, the universe here is helping us see past our fears. They're helping us expand our perception so we can see things for the highest good, so that we can do things that serve us. And when we serve ourselves, and our highest good, we can then turn around and serve others as well and be there in a better capacity for others when we have taken care of ourselves, when we've found that peace, when we've found that healing. And the star, the star is guiding you on that journey. So in this card where it's asking, where are you being called to journey to? The star is leading your way. It's saying, give yourself that peace, give yourself that healing that you so desperately need cocoon yourself, take care of yourself, and you're going to find yourself where you need to be and right where you belong. You will end up there. So this month in October, you really need to focus on yourself, your peace, your healing, um, your calmness, creating that nest for yourself, creating that, that cocoon, um, so you can go into this and then come out transformed. You can come out in a whole new person because you're able to see things from a different perspective now. And you will be able to kind of just have this very gentle way of flowing through life. Um, so that is what we've got for pile one for October. 
And if you chose pile two, we have the initiation, rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got loving from the inside. It is a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence. Happiness is my birthright. Sacred pool. And we've got the five of shells, hope and readjustment. Okay, so what I'm getting from these cards here is that we need to reconnect this month with our happiness, that happiness that was guaranteed to us when we were born onto this planet, into this life. You were given the right of happiness. We just need to get back in touch with that. You can do that by readjusting your life a little bit, readjusting some of your, of your things, reconnecting with that light that is so deep within you. Um, the five of shells, shells, are an element are the element of water they represent the element of water so this is all about our emotions and our relationships and just having the hope and having that love for ourselves enough that we can kind of see that if things aren't where we want them in life right now if things aren't as good as we know they can be that there's still hope there's still a chance that we can change things and we can get that life that we want if we just keep that hope. We need to learn to love ourselves from the inside out. When we can become at peace with who we are on the inside, it's almost like taking on this whole other life. I mean, it's just, it's a blessing to give myself the gift of my own presence. Take time, take the time to really Get to know yourself. If you feel very disconnected with yourself, this is that time of readjustment. Readjust your thoughts. Readjust the way you do things in life and just appreciate you. Just appreciate yourself. Love yourself. Um, think of all the different ways that you are blossoming in life and the way that you are just able to plant ideas like a seed and watch them grow in your life. This is a card that is saying, you know, when we can love ourselves and who we are, it's this treasure, it's this honor to be able to say that and to do that. And we have the sacred pool over here reminding you of that deep well of magic that is within you. Everything you need in life is within you already. You are magical. And then we've got this initiation, this rite of passage. You're going somewhere sacred. That sacred place is within. It's going within yourself. It's going to that sacred, magical pool within you. And it's digging down deep and it's getting that happiness back. And it's, it's keeping that hope and it's relighting that light that you have that maybe you feel is burning out a little bit or it's 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 a little dimmer than it used to be or than you want it to be this is telling you it's okay take that journey it might be very very difficult it might be a dark treacherous journey but when you do it you're going to get back to that happiness you're going to reconnect with that happiness you're going to start glowing your light and shining your light so brightly because you love yourself from the inside because you have that deep, magical, sacred pool within you, the people are going to notice and your world is going to be amazingly transformed. Okay, so that is pile two. Now we're on to pile three. We've got transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So I'm definitely noticing in all three piles, we've got this big theme of healing going on. So I think October is going to be the month of healing. So we've got magical map shifter. We've got I create mindful moments throughout the day reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. We've got the tower release and revelation. And we've got self-belief. Self-belief is the magic key that opens up a better, more inspired future for me. Okay, so here we go. 
You are love. Miracles are natural. Miracles happen all day, every day. They aren't these elusive things that only happen once in a great while. It's something that happens daily. And once you remember that and once you can believe that for yourself and that you remind yourself throughout the day, every single day, that you are love. You are love. You're going to start seeing that change, that cellular level change. You're going to start transforming. You're going to start believing in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, it opens up so, so, so many different things for you. This inspired future, this magical map shifter here, he's able to create his reality. He is co-creating his reality with the universe because he believes in himself, knows that he's love. He's not afraid of these transformations. He's not afraid of that deep healing. He's willing to shake things up. He's willing to live in the discomfort among the chaos. He's willing to be the chameleon and change his colors and adapt to his surroundings. And he does this all because he knows this for the greater good, not just for himself, but for all. Because when we heal ourselves, when we take that time to believe in ourselves and transform ourselves and co-create our re reality, and when we know and trust and believe that we are love and that miracles happen, when we heal ourselves, we are healing the collective. So when someone thinks, I'm just one person, what can I do? I can't do anything. That is so, so untrue because every person who knows they are love and every person that transforms their life and, and who lives through the chaos and the discomfort and the, the fear and shuts up their ego and doesn't let their ego take them over and, and they believe in themselves and they, and they know that that is the key to getting that better future for themselves. When we do that as one person, it does make a difference because one person inspires the next person, inspires the next person. Going back to that light that we're shining bright, if it's dimming on us, we can create that light again. We can bring that light back into our lives. We can believe in ourselves. We can transform and heal ourselves. We can tell ourselves over and over until we believe it deep down inside that we are love and we can deal with the chaos and the craziness and the upheaval in our lives because we know at the end that we are releasing the things that aren't serving us. We're releasing the things that are holding us back and we are having these revelations. We're having these epiphanies, these aha moments that we are able to let these things go go because we know better things are on the way. We're letting it go because we know miracles are natural and our miracle, a miracle, another miracle is just around the corner for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this pick a card um, reading. If you did and want to give this video a thumbs up or go ahead and subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely awesome. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.